In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a burn down chart in Power BI in just a few steps. A burn down chart is an excellent way to show how many hours have been spent and how many hours are still remaining. So how much budget is left. And especially in project management, you really want to see this easily and quickly. And visualizing this data makes the whole process a lot faster. So let's have a look into Power BI, how we can create this burn down chart. Here you see a typical matrix I have at the left where I can see like the weeks, how many hours are built, how many hours are planned, total hours. That's something I see a lot in projects where I'm working because this information almost every company can get out of their time tracking system and into Power BI. I created some conditional formatting data bars here, which already give me an idea how the project's going, but we want to create this burn down chart and to create this, we need some data and I will show you the data here. I have a date table, employee information, project information, like I have two projects in there and project activity. And this is a table where you can see for every day, the project and the description, like what part of the project was worked on and how many hours were built and planned. So really basic information that I think kind of every company has when they're tracking hours. So what I want is I want this information in a burn down chart like this, where I can easily see how many hours are left. So this is the burn down and the hours that were already built and the planet hours. And here we see like in week 29, there are no hours left there even hours still planned. So we know things are going wrong. But of course, if we would have this visual earlier, we could have seen it like around this point. Okay, we need to watch out, especially with the planned hours available. So what I want to do first is I want to create a measure that where I get this budget that we have our project budget. And in our example, this would be this. Why do I not use just the sum of the project budget. I use a calculate here because I want the sum to be created regardless of which filter for project ID is used. I don't want any filtering on project ID impact my visual. It should always look like this. So I start with creating this total budget. Next thing is I want to create this cumulative value like this here of total hours because we have all our hours built here and all our hours planned here. I want this to add up for each week. So in the first week that we have data, we have 16 hours, but in the second week I have 18 hours. So I want 16 plus 18 to be added here. And then the third week, this value should also be added. So I want to create that. And how do I do this measure? Again, a calculate where I calculate all the hours built and all the hours planned up to a certain date. And then I create the line, which is the burn down line. And this is really basic because it is actually taking like our budget hours that we had at the beginning and it's minus the total hours built and planned, the one we just created. So this is our hours left here because we had a budget of 250 hours and here 16 hours are spent. So our hours left are 234 and this is repeated for every week here. And then of course you want to bring this data to life. I created here, I will show you line and stacked column chart. On the X axis, I have my weeks and these are the same weeks as here. And on the Y axis, I have these built and planned hours. These are the hours we have in our data. So these are just stacked here. You see them here. And then on the line Y axis, I have this burn down line that we've created. And then I did some formatting with data labels and these kind of things to make it a little bit more insightful. And once your burn down chart is set up, and this is actually just a stacked line and column chart in Power BI, you can use it in team meetings to communicate with stakeholders because this is really easy to interpret and to look at. When you see this data here, this can be quite tough for anyone to interpret, like how many hours are left. And in this matrix, I already added some cues 
with the hours left and the data bars here. But still, I think this is easier to understand. So I hope this works for you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching and I will see you next in the next video.